Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. Diving right back into Elite Zoo North, of course, our one and only zoo so far, yes, but uh, it is a zoo that we want to sort of grow properly to its full strength, I think, before we move on to another. And it seems that many of you in the comments agree as well that that's the way to go. Let's not rush past rushed past. Let's not rush past our first zoo, uh, only just to get more. Let's spend our time to, uh, to, to, to get this done properly. On which note, it's great to see a first thing be a warning here. Habitat 4, habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Oh, okay, listen. Here's the thing. We have a lot of issues with this habitat right now. Uh, one of those issues, well, many of those issues are, are stemming from the fact that I once more have forgotten to assign a work zone. So we're going to be taking care of some managerial stuff first, as always, and we're going to time lapse into taking care of this exhibit. There's a lot of work to do over here, and uh, it might... This episode might end up being a little bit on the short side, only because... Uh, see, what ends up happening is... When I do a time lapse, it ends up being like three, like two, three hours of recording a session, and then the time lapse shrinks it down to an hour. So if this ends up taking me a long time, there's only so many hours in a day, and I have to record the day uh, before I release a video because I want to make sure I see all your comments and stuff. Uh, so if, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, if this ends up taking me an extremely long time, we might end up a slightly bit shorter than an hour, just a slight bit shorter than an hour. And I hope you guys uh, don't mind that. Now, I just want to mention really quickly, as always, folks, if you've been enjoying the series and you would like to see it continue, do not hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel, the kind of stuff that I do uh, more or less of, the decisions I make in the you know middle of a game and stuff as well, especially with something like uh, uh, with Planet Zoo. Uh, so yeah, do keep leaving those likes and comments. Really helps me make decisions. And uh, and like I said, like I've always said, I read through all of the comments. They help me um, in, in a variety of ways. Not only are they fun to read through, but they also help me uh, notice things that I've missed. For example, not adding these uh, these buildings here into our work zone. Uh, I, I don't know why I just keep missing the whole work zone thing. I just, I need to make it a, a more of a habit. Uh, but yes. So keep leaving those comments down below, folks. Anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and get some of this uh, initial managerial stuff done. Hopefully, well, one thing, I'm going to hit play and I want to see if our, if our vet here, you, I need you to come here. Like right away. Let's get a vet here. Let's get a, okay, cleanliness has been maxed out. Great. No complaints, then? Are you... What are you... Where are you going? Where are you going? You're in America's North. Um, Going to exhibit. Going down to that exhibit. I would much rather you take care of this one first. Because they haven't been fed in a while. And that's going to be a problem. Now, some of you were suggesting... Some of you were mentioning that... Uh, oh. There's so much going on all at the same time. We're having babies. We're, we're having issues. I need. To, I want to. I want to see these babies. So yeah, these guys are not being fed, and I really need. I really need you fed right now. Keeper on route. Where are you? Okay, they're running over. Okay, good stuff. So hopefully the keeper's gonna come up here and, and feed them. And uh, there are some modifications I have to make. You know what? We're gonna start with a time lapse. <laughs> we're gonna start with a time lapse because a lot of the changes I I have to make uh, have to do with the accessibility of the um you know of the, of these food air, air the feeding areas and stuff. So let's start with it. Let's start with it. All right. So there were some actually really great suggestions in the comments. I I saw this and it was repeated a couple times. And the first time I saw it, I loved the idea right away. Um. So the suggestion was that we need some bridges uh to help it easier to cross over the river and uh i, I mean yeah 100 <laughs> percent uh so i go about building the bridge in uh sort of I, I build half of it and i try to duplicate it for the other half and of course i do the foolish thing of prematurely duplicating and 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 rotating and setting it up and i realize wait a second there's a lot more decorating to do so i'm actually going to decorate half of the bridge you know, as much as possible, and then flip it to the other side. Now, I want to make note of one thing. This isn't going to be a hyper-decorated bridge by uh, any stretch of the imagination. It's more of a, a functional bridge. I wanted it to be very low profile. Initially, I was like, have I gone too low with this? But I wanted it to be low profile. I wanted it to seem like there was basically nothing there when viewers were looking at it, unless they're looking at it from the eagle's eye. Um, but the... Um, 
it's more of a functional bridge so that people can cross it, keepers can cross it, vets can cross it, and uh, maybe even animals. The animals should be able to swim across, but this might make it easier for uh, for keepers as well. And you can see me rotating some of the planks because I didn't like how repetitive it looked. So I got rid of some of the planks, I set up the little side ridge there, and then duplicated, mirrored, and then I think I go in and I make some slight more adjustments as well. Uh, overall, pretty happy with how this looks. I did, again, it's not overstated. I wanted it to be relatively simple and I might add more to it, uh, but you can see I do add some reeds and stuff around it because I feel like it's a little barren looking. So I add some reeds to liven up the place, but overall happy, I think, with the bridge itself. Let me know your thoughts. I didn't put a railing down or anything because I felt like, you know, if we got a particularly big, hefty bison, uh, they'd have an uncomfortable time going across it. So I also add a second one because I figure, you know, one's for more of an emergency access from the, uh, right away from the gate, so it should be a little bit closer. Another one just a little bit closer to the actual eye. Uh, just because of, you know, for, for visual sake. Now you can see I, I do shrink the, the habitat a little bit. Many of you have been saying I should shrink it because it's too big, and some of you have been saying keep it this size because when babies come around, you'll need the extra running room. So what I've done is I've just slightly shrunk it, uh, but I will leave room for expansion should the babies arrive uh, in, in, in great number, uh, and, and then I can readjust it and make it a bit bigger. I know you can see actually I struggle with uh, vegetation. I'm, the whole grassland thing is a little hard for me to deal with in terms of beautification. Uh, but I put down some more reeds and stuff. I'm just trying to figure out what else to do to really make it uh, shine, I suppose. And then back over here you can see I do add... Uh, oh, I make quite a few modifications over here. The rock felt a little strange on, all on its lonesome. So what I wanted to do is I took inspiration from the name again. You know, Eagle Eye. Uh, and now I don't know if eagles do this because... I'm not 100% sure, but you know, a lot of the time birds will make their nests atop um, like a high point. So I thought, why not make it look like that kind of a, a roof? Uh, so this provides multiple purposes. Aesthetically, it's like where the eagle would make its nest. Uh, and then from a function perspective, it uh, provides cover from rain and snow and things like that. You can see I actually mess around with the bedding as well. This was another great suggestion I saw in the comments of like using the bedding as a roof piece. Unfortunately, like you can see, I go a bit far with it over here, but unfortunately it just doesn't clip nicely. You can't rotate it freely. There's too many limitations with it, and it was driving me absolutely crazy. Uh, so I, I get rid of most of them, but I do leave, I believe I leave that last bit in, because again, I want it to feel like, yes, you know, maybe a, a, an eagle has actually nested up there. Uh, just I don't know, felt like a nice story to go with the, the zoo. And you can see I complete the rock over there. Might might adjust it a little bit more to give it a bit more of a height variety or something, but happy with how it functions. Uh, and I think the guests will appreciate that coverage as well. And then you can see, of course, I add a little support beam in the middle because uh, whether that's real rock or it's made out of plastic, uh, it will need some support in the middle over there. So yeah, pretty happy with how the eagle eye is looking now, uh, especially that balcony bit. But I just got to finish off this little unevenness because it was driving me mad as I was reviewing my previous video. I was just like, why didn't I just finish that off last video? Uh, but we've got it done now. And there you go. Nice and clean. I uh, might fix up that end over there as well or might make it a different type of a curve or something. But yeah, happy with the eagle eye. Again, nothing's ever 100% complete, so we might come back again later. And you can see I raised the barrier as well. Some of you pointed out that the uh, uh, Zoopedia might be incorrect, it might be inaccurate. Many of you have mentioned uh, seeing antelope jump over barriers based on the Zoopedia height, so I've adjusted that. Um, and eventually we'll be customizing our, uh, our entire barrier as well. Though again, because this is such a big undertaking, this is probably the biggest uh, undertaking as far as uh, size is concerned. And so I, I frequently find myself having to pause uh, the time-lapsing, not today, but like, you'll see when I stop the time-lapse today, uh, I'm sort of like figuring out what to do next. Uh, but this is this is where we're going to build the hard shelter for our animals, which I did forget to do last session. Uh, they definitely need a little bit of coverage. You can see me there kind of contemplating like, what else am I going to do? Does this need to be a bigger space? Uh, what I, I do know that I want the um, cover, like the canopy or whatever, to end up being a bit of an overhang for our visitors as well. Uh, but for now, I'm just focusing on the animal side of things. So I use those climbing platforms. Those climbing platforms, I swear, they're a bit of a godsend. Um, you can see I kind of messed around with some other options, but yep, gotta go back to uh, to the to, to the one true love, the, the climbing platforms, and use them to create a nice looking um, uh, canopy as well. It, it was kind of like, I was kind of figuring out like, what do we do to tie it all together um, and still match the grasslands theme? And then I realized, you know, the eagle eye is made using the same material. So this will tie it all together. And once I build out the entire, well, like I, I have a bit of a vision in mind. I just have to figure out the details. So between sessions, what I do often is I go through uh, all the pieces that are available to us to figure out what I might use. So I still have to do that for, uh, for this exhibit. And I still have to name this exhibit as well, though this canopy will be an excellent 
different um, backdrop for that name when we when I eventually pick one. So again, keep dropping name suggestions in the comments down below as well. Uh, I ultimately decide to get rid of that central section. I'll probably add it in later once we get some more animals. But for now, I think two on either side is pretty good. Spread out the feeding area as well. Uh, try and make sure they're able to eat in the shade and also in the sun if they so choose. And hopefully our keepers are actually able to... Um, keep those uh, uh, stocked up and, and full at all times. I make a bit of a goof over here in, in duplicating and realizing, wait, there's no mirror button, so I undo all that. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I do make a bit of an adjustment to try and get it a bit more symmetrical. Feeling pretty happy with these feeding areas, but I think that's the extent of today's time lapse with uh, the eagle eye more or less completed and the feeding areas settled. There's so much more to do today. All right. I think that's uh, enough of a time lapse for now. There's quite a few other things that I'd like to take care of this session. I, it, it becomes such a challenge to balance um, what uh, the, the time lapses versus not time lapses. I know, I know, I've said this a couple of times over the last couple of sessions, um, but uh, I don't know. It's just something that bears repeating. I think that uh, yeah, I, I, I try to find that perfect balance. I think we've made some good adjustments to the. Um, to this situation over here, but there's so many other things in my backlog that I do want to take care of, especially when it comes to exhibits and stuff. Uh, and I want to make sure this is all running smoothly. So let's go ahead and do that first, make sure everything's running smoothly. And, uh, and maybe like, I really want to finish this exhibit entirely as well, but it, it, there's so much in the backlog. Like I was saying, it's always hard to pick and choose, but for now, let's go ahead and toggle pause and see, you know, our keepers going to be, yeah, they're rushing over right now. Hopefully they'll be able to take care of this place pretty easily. Now we do have some new babies. Oh, there we go. Just the one. Just the one, it seems. Such a cutie. Such a cutie. Tyson. What a name. Oh! <gasps> Did you guys hear that? I, I need to... Oh my god. I need to make sure I like adjust my audio appropriately. That was absolutely adorable. Now the inspector is arriving in... Oh my god, you are so cute, Tyson. <laughs> Such a cutie. Such a cutie. Animal is starving. That is not good. That is less cute. Uh, don't all attack the, the keeper now. Keeper's coming over. Gonna drop the food over. Are you gonna be able to use the bridge? Yes, you are. Excellent. This was, again, an excellent suggestion I received in the comments was uh, to get some bridges so it's easier to travel over. What are you doing? Okay, good. They can swim. <laughs> I'm like, are you you're gonna drown like that? But okay, let's go ahead and feed these... Uh, feed these animals. They're not feeling very good. Social is going up. That's good. Enrichment. We are doing some research right now, so that's going to help that out. Let's go ahead and double check to make sure. Money's kind of on the low side, so that needs to be fixed ASAP. The bison and the antelope. Yep, receiving research. Uh, and Kiana is about to have offspring. Wait a second. Did I... Oh, M for mother. I was like, M for male? You can't be having offspring. Such a cutie. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, don't, don't, don't bother her. They are running for the food. They want to eat. Oh, they just want to eat. Look at that. They are starving. Can't even blame them. You can't even blame them. But yeah, so some of you were suggesting that uh, pronghorns eat from different types of, uh, of, of feeding trays or whatever you want to call them, but that is not the case. They, they can eat from the same one and they can walk across it as well. And then now they're going to head over to that one over there to eat as well. Okay, good stuff. Oh, that's so beautiful watching them run. Absolutely beautiful. Inspector has arrived at the zoo. Hopefully, oh my god. Oh, <gasps> look at her. Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> uh, such a cutie. All right. Sorry. Uh, getting distracted there. Um, so let's see. Hopefully everyone's doing okay. I mean, I've tried my best to make everyone happy. Abigail, toy enrichment is kind of low over here. What else is the inspector going to be looking at? Habitat 4. Going to see Bashiri. Bashiri is who? Your Bashiri. Enrichment. Enrichment is going to be a little tough for now. Again, that's why we're doing the research, like I said. Go ahead and adjust this a little bit. You, you're like randomly in the middle there. I know that might have been intentional previously, but it most certainly isn't right now. All right, this is good. This is good. People are up here able to see as well. Hopefully crowds are still coming through. Why, why are you stopping here? Keep going. You don't have a view. <laughs> Keep going. There we go. Some people are going up. It was mentioned that one of my bins here seems to be... Okay, we got protesters now. I'd like you to leave, please. Pinbull is doing fine. There we go. Excellent. I was like, why are you... Are you? Stop protesting. I was actually thinking last session how um, we haven't seen... Uh, 
We haven't seen any protests or anything, but of course we had to have our first. Oh, where's the... We were mentioning there was a bin that was stuck in the waterfall or something like that. I will I will check on that in a bit. Uh, for now, we still have to worry about the Tortuga Galapagos. Conseja. Conseja? What was your issue? Food enrichment. Everything else is fine. It's just food enrichment. Now, there, uh, so there have been constant suggestions, actually, about changing our front um, exhibit. Which I'm starting to think more and more of. Uh, a, a great suggestion actually came through that we could make it the uh, Baird's Tapir. Tapir? I apologize. I keep butchering that pronunciation. It's just a word I'm not familiar with. You know what they say? Don't make fun of people who don't know how to pronounce words because it means they learned through reading. Something an old teacher, an old English teacher of mine used to say. Um, but yeah, so the uh, the suggestion was to get the uh, the Baird's uh, Tapir, Tapir, whatever it is, uh, over here. Um, because they'd be able to use this area a bit more freely they were a bit faster so it might be a good idea however another suggestion came through uh which might help us alleviate the uh, the stress i've been feeling with regards to them getting hungry at the top and i think this might be a wise suggestion so i want to test this out first see if it solves the problem and the suggestion was to get food enrichment up here as opposed to a regular feeder because food enrichment is filled first so if we get like a little fruit spike tree or something up over here let's say or even up over here right It'll get filled, and that should provide a little, like, pit stop, I suppose, if you will. And in terms of the habitat being a risk, an escape risk, I think we're fine, actually. Oh, 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 we're not. We are not. Okay. Well, thank you again for pointing that out. This, again, this is why I say, hey, if you have uh, anything to say in the comments, go for it. Uh, I, I, I read them all because of things like this. Sometimes it's just, like, other people notice things that I don't. And this is the thing in life in general. This is how I approach life in general. People will always see things differently. That's why I like to pay attention to what you guys are saying in the comments so I can uh, stop things like uh, tortoises falling on people's heads, you know? People probably would not appreciate that. I mean, it'd be hilarious. You keep... Oh, why are you, why are you in a box? That's weird. No reason to box them. As far as I know. Okay, there we go. That should be escape proof now. Let's just double check to make sure. That's better. Yep, and you can get across. And you, my tiny friend. Ah, oh, okay, this is a problem. Big one can't though, right? Yeah. But the tiny one actually can't climb across over here, so we gotta smooth this out a little bit, it seems. Um if we smooth, go a little bit smaller here. Oh, we've got protesters again. What are you protesting now? The inspector is not going to be happy, which is probably their plan all along. Okay, that's better. A little funky over there. Wonder if we can smooth that out. Come on now. That might be tough because of the barrier being right there. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Habitat. I'd like to just edit everything from... There we go, edit the barrier. Pull you over a little bit. Come on. Work with me here, game. Alright. Guess I gotta delete you. Brain, smooth this out. That looks worse. We'll find out. You're fine. You're fine too. Okay, great. Excellent. So we have a little escape point over here, which isn't good. But uh, we also have to fix our barrier. Where are you? There you go. And edit you. From up there. To up here. And can we... No, we cannot. I think I'd have... There we go. There it is. Perfect. Done. Problem solved. Uh, I just have this one escape route that I need to seal off. Go ahead and do that. And we'll duplicate you as well. Okay, that should solve the problem. Now, what's, uh, what's going on here? Alright, Grizzly Grove. Five star. That's good to see. I haven't touched the bears in so long. There's our day-night cycle. Uh, I want, another thing I want to do is I want to get our um, zoo actually open at night because I, I want to have the whole lit-up experience and stuff as well. So that is something I want to do. So hang in there for uh, for that. Our people are good over here. People are viewing from over here. Are you donating, though? That's the big question. 
Yeah, they're donating more now. The animal happiness makes a big difference. Now, this is a little unfortunate, right? Because I can't actually put... I mean, I can put a donation bin actually right over here. That might net me some money. Because people are willing to walk a little bit. But I can't put it on stairs, is the thing. I can't put it on stairs. Oh, this is the bin that was being talked about. Cool. Sharp eyes, y'all have. Sharp eyes. I did not notice that at all. Oh, thank you. All right, good. That should be good. We're making some money there, finally. So, excellent. We've got, uh, y'all are fed, well fed, pretty happy. Food, like, again, enrichment, that'll have to wait. There's a lot of work to do there, but we'll, we'll pay attention to that later. For now, let's go ahead and see. Our inspector is leaving the zoo now. A decent review, I would say. A decent review. Um, so that's good. And over here, actually, it was also mentioned that the vendor couldn't reach this. So I guess the, the path isn't working. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Go ahead and say hello to our VIP guests over here. Papa Nurgle! Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> I gotta let you know in the Discord. Actually, on, on that topic, if you haven't already joined our Discord, uh, make sure you join our Discord if you want to. Link is in the description down below. Great community. Lots of people uh, in it playing Planet Zoo. I've also created a channel specifically for Planet Zoo if you want to share, you know, uh, your own thoughts or, or opinions or your own zoos, you know, that's, that's always welcome. It's a really nice community, over 2,100 people. Let's go ahead and claim this reward from releasing the Timberwolves into the wild, and we bred a new habitat animal, so there's another reward to claim. We're at 18k now. I don't think we're gonna get a 5 star review this time around, but uh, maybe soon. Still, still on our way out, alright. What's the deal over here? Things are okay with you guys? So, let's see. Couple suggestions that I'd received. One was that perhaps it is time for Abigail to be put on contraceptives, and for us to get a new female wolf. Whoa. Got really aggressive there with the box. Uh, Lucas is our alpha. Abigail. Well, you know what? We don't... The pups are still pups. They haven't become adults just yet, so we can probably stick with what we have for now. Because the whole idea being, once they become adults, like Waylon, once Waylon becomes an adult, uh, we'll probably want to prevent inbreeding. And then get the contraceptives on Abigail. Just got to remember to do that. Okay. Cool. Inspector has left. Report ready for viewing. Wow, why can't I? I'm not crazy, right? You used to be able to click on this and you get a little pop-up inspection notice, right? They left. I mean, that was a decent... Uh, well, it's closed now. But that, was a, that was a decent rating. That wasn't too bad. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. Well, wow, thank you for telling me. Go ahead and go 14 and 10. Let's see if that works. That'll be some good income. I mean, our, our costs are going up. And now we have to go ahead and take a look at this. So vet research complete. What is this? The pronghorn. Excellent. And mechanic research complete as well. We've got nice solar power, more food shops, and India theme is completed. Yes, excellent. So we can actually start doing our India expansion soon. Soon, I say. Uh, Scott Tillman, let's get you researching the Africa theme as well. Uh, food shops, drink shops. We can do a bit more on the drink shops. Let's go ahead and do that. And many of you have been asking... Many of you have been asking for transportation rides and stuff. So let's go ahead and get the research started there. Uh, because why not? Why not? Right. Uh, let's see. America South. I want to make sure that we've got a decent spread. How can I actually... Well, I can't locate Robert Cloud now that... All right, well, fair enough. Let's go to here. I want to make sure there's a spread to the north and the south. So Robert Cloud, America South. Let's get... Um, Let's get Robert Cloud in the north. Okay, vet research complete. This would be for the bison, I assume. Yep, excellent. Keep it going. I got a fancy up there uh, habitat a bit more as well. Uh, another thing that was suggested is that we maybe get some more security guards to help prevent littering and um, vandalism. We've only got the one. We've only had the one for so long. So let's go ahead and get you set up with America's North as your work zone. And we'll train you maybe later. On which topic, we should also get some more training going. So let's go ahead and train some of you into three stars and some of you into two stars. So there we go. Good split between north and south. Yes. Our keepers are split between north and south as well. Evenly. High workload. Go ahead and train some of them. I think part of that high workload is because they were uh, they had to travel so far for the keeper hut. Too much. Workload is heavy. Snowed under with tasks. I mean, I could just get more keepers. I could just get more keepers. I've got a decent flow of cash, right? This guy's doing okay. Security guards, we've got two now. Not happy. Why aren't you happy? 
No path to my work zone from here. You're making that up. Just give them some time to sort out the pathfinding. Uh, and then there was a suggestion of these vendors actually getting specific... Um... You're a vendor, right? Now, where is... Where is... How do I... How do I assign... Oh, there we go. Right. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff done here. Down over here. Yeah, good. People can reach here, so that's good to see. Who is you? Gen Genesta. Genesta? Genesta? Go ahead and assign you to the Lapa Grubs. Confirm. Good stuff. Over here, we've got Kiana. Alright, let's go ahead and get Kiana. Oh my god, this is gonna be this is gonna get painful. Uh Kiana, 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 we've got so many. Assign you to here. Alright, confirm that. Oh, this is called Gulpy Slush? No, 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 no. Sorry, I have to rename this. This is Galapa Gulps. There we go. Done. Alright, so we're gonna start with that as like a bit of a test drive, a test run to see how that actually works. Uh if it works. I'm sure it will. I mean, of course it'll work, but if it makes a difference, I should say. If it makes a difference. Alright, um, what else have we got going on? We're fine over here. Money, okay, it's still positive. We're still making it. Wolves are having a good time. Uh, we could add a little bit of enrichment here. Ooh, what's the deal? Animal is stressed. Low welfare. Stress. Trying to hide. I think the, yeah, I think the issue is, um... We need to add one-way glass or something over here. Because they are they don't like being that close to, uh, to people. Another thing I can do is I can make, um... This a bit of a resting area as well. So that the animals can actually... Tuck away over here. If they, if they want to have a bit more of a comfortable resting area. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta keep an eye on that. Anyway, that's, I think that's that stuff we'll have to manage later, because again, I keep getting bogged down with, with that. So, what what else are we doing? We've got, um, the staff facilities have been settled, uh, we talked about the wolves already, so I, j I literally have, like, notes that I go through, um, to make sure I cover all of my bases. Uh, alright, you know what? It's time to go underground, into the exhibits, uh, because we want to add- Oh my god, look at this! This is awesome! Oh, that's- Damn right, use that ATM. Withdraw that cash. Spend that money. Rubbish all over the place. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to clean that up. I mean, looks like we're cleaner down here. A little bit of rubbish over there. You're right next to the bin, man. Just, come on, that's not even full. Good over there. What about this area? Because this area was filthy. It is so nice to see these crowds. I'm so excited to see these crowds. And it looks like it's been cleaned up as well. A little bit of dirt over here. Looks like it's been cleaned up overall. Ah, uh, a little bit of dirt over here as well. Good stuff, getting donations here. What I might want to do is actually spread these evenly. Interesting fact that you guys have been dropping in the, uh, in the comments about, uh, Disney World, Disneyland, Disney World. Uh, having bins every 10 steps. That is just crazy to me. Crazy to me. I'd, I'd be willing to walk more than 10 steps to throw something in a bin. I don't know, right? Sorry, that keeps, uh, like, hinging me. Oh my god! We missed you when you were born, right? Because we were looking at their feeding and everything. Oh, such a cutie. Oh my god! I just... <laughs> Wait, what a name, Swindle. I can't get over the little noises they make. I had the pleasure of feeding a baby cow once. They are absolutely adorable. I know this isn't a cow, but, you know, it's what it reminds me of. Well, you're definitely enjoying the grass in your grassland. Oh my god, they're so cute, and it's snowing. Now we gotta deal with that. Now we do have some heaters in the area. We do have some heaters in the area. More offspring do? Yeah, so many of you were suggesting, even though I shrunk the area a little bit, many of you were suggesting not to overdo it, not to overshrink it, um, because the, um, the, uh, once the offspring come through, it's gonna get really 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 crowded and i want that i want that so i've kept it fairly large and i've kept room for it to expand as well uh if need be go ahead and get you over here and let's go ahead and duplicate you over here it'll it'll heat the area behind it as well all oh, little baby no oh, no didn't want that not want that there we go want to be able to see you still 
Okay. They make... Oh my god, they make the cutest noises. I, I can't get over it. Didn't know that's the noise that antelopes make. <laughs> Every time it squeaks, I just can't help but like... <laughs> uh, it sends me a giggling fit. Uh, I don't think we need two over here. We definitely need to warm this area up. And I have to hide these areas with like reeds and stuff a bit more as well. Alright, I know I said I was going to make exhibits and then I got distracted again. I'm sorry, folks. Many of you have been asking for a while to get some like Gila monsters, some new scorpions and stuff, so... This is good. They should be running around over here. They, they don't like the snow, of course. It is not at all natural to them. They're okay with how much we're getting right now, so that's good. Alright, that means... That gives me... I'm giving myself permission to move on from that. Um, let's go ahead and, and yes, work on the, uh, the exhibits over here. So, in terms of the exhibits... Uh, by the way, you can see I'm clipping through terrain now. It's because one of you very kindly pointed out the fact that there is a setting for the camera to allow you to clip through terrain. And it makes life so much easier. Gotta replace you. That's how long we haven't been down here that I've just not noticed all this stuff. Uh, do we have too many animals? Oh, wow, we have a lot of animals here. But we're gonna keep Daddy. Everybody else. We're gonna keep Mommy and Daddy. They need a storage. Okay, uncheck that. What's the deal over here? Winter's the mommy. Uh, oh, I read the name as well and I've forgotten it. Logan. Send you. What happened there? You just jumped. Animal's hungry. Well, there's food now. Oh, baby. Hmm. I, you'd imagine... You'd imagine... Well, let's see. Let's select the habitat. Maybe we have to feed them more often here. Um, maintenance. Let's get the keeper. Every month is the most often we can do. Alright, well, if you're hungry... Call the keepers over. Alright. Yet again, distracted. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, focus time. It, it is exhibit time. So, we want to get the Gila monster... We want to get the hairy scorpion and the red knee tarantula. So heads up, if you have a, an issue with spiders, there will be some spiders. There will be some spiders. And we can I think we can just do it while we have uh, time moving forward so we can keep making money as well. I don't think we need to pause for it. We'll keep an eye out for any... You know what? That's a lie. Let's pause. Just because, yeah, you never know. I've got the keeper coming to feed them. That's good. Mechanic research complete. All these notifications, they happen so quickly. Food shops, another step completed. Good. Keep the research going, though. Vets are still fine as well, researching what they're researching, yep. Uh, already checked that, already said hello to everyone. Okay, cool. So, let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get these done. So, the, um, exhibits. There we go. I've, I've been wondering if underground, there, there's been some suggestion about doing these exhibits up front as well, near, uh, Tortuga Lapagos, to try and get the get people going there more, but what we saw last session was that people had started going there. So, I don't know, maybe maybe it's like misplaced confidence that we're okay now. But I feel like we don't need to overdo that area anymore. Not not like I felt previously where um where people just weren't going there and I was like, ah, I feel like I've wasted money and time building such a nice space. And I think what's gonna happen is eventually when um when more people uh, ra rather, sorry, when, when we get more animals out in that direction, and again, that's going to be our Africa section, just as a reminder. So once we get more animals out in that section, I think we'll probably be fine in terms of uh, uh, people traveling through that area. Because we've got washrooms there, we've got food. Um, so I think we'll probably be okay, it is my guess. Flatten to this foundation. There we go. There we go. That looks a bit better. Mm. The slope is annoying me. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with that, though. Now let's go ahead and just clean this, ca cave this out a little bit. Now, the other thing is that I, I could actually place these exhibits in a way that people can come in from all directions. Uh, I've talked about that in the past. However, I just don't see um, ooh, oops, crowds forming around here enough. Oh, we've got room. So I, I don't know the merit of that. So again, let me know your thoughts on that front. Let's go ahead and... This is not exactly what I had in mind. This is not exactly what I had in mind. Can I use a path to flatten? Oh, yes, I can. Beautiful. 
Go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and do the same over here, perhaps. Like hackily using the, the path mechanic. And I'll do it if I have to. Evidently I do. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh. Oh, they're growing up. Is that a new baby? No, or you're just you're just Shanita's just kind of on the smaller side. Yeah, Shanita's just a little bit, a little bit on the smaller side. They're both kind of bit. Oh, they're so cute! <laughs> oh, they're so cute! My God, I just can't get over it. All right, let's uh, seal that back up. They'll need no bear escape happening over here. That would uh, that would not be ideal. Lead to a grizzly situation. All right, now. Go ahead and build our exhibits. Let's get one over here. Just gotta adjust your height a little bit. There we go. Place you directly across. We'll have to do so much research and stuff as well to make sure that they're um, happy too. Because I, I don't want to have unhappy um, any animal, really. Not my style. What if I lock to this? Gotta cancel and restart that. No, just says obstructed. Um, yeah, that's weird. Just says obstructed. Doesn't let me hook onto that group. Fair enough. I'll use my... Use my intuition here. And hope for the best. By which I mean, it's not going to work nicely. Come on now. Come on now, game. There we go. Okay, so something like that. Feels about right. We'll dig a hole as well. Or I guess we won't. Interesting. The game is definitely very interesting with when it decides to dig and not dig. But let's go ahead and uh, push this a little bit, because we are able to. We are able to. And if I can get people looking for multiple sides, then that wouldn't be a bad idea, right? Like again, the back we might seal off, but from the sides at least. Go ahead and lift that up a little bit. There we go. Feels good, feels good. Sure. Sure. Yeah, that sounds about right. And we can get our little ex no, not the exhibit, but the education board. We have to be careful as well. The exhibits are pretty expensive. They are pretty expensive. Go ahead and drop you down over here. And we need to get a donation box as well. So let's go ahead and pull you. Basically covering up the view over here. There we go. I'm just trying to figure out if I like this experience as a whole. Okay, it's kind of staggered. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Uh, can we actually get the path to extend around it? Question of the century, isn't it? The question of the century. And I, I think I know the answer. I think the answer is I'm not going to bother. If I'm honest. Or I'll like do it off camera or something. Because. Don't worry. I've, I I pay attention. I know nobody is interested in watching me struggle with. Um, the pathing system. Myself included. Oh, well, looks like we have a connection there. All right. Okay, okay. Okay. No, not okay. <sighs> For a game about building people's experiences around a park, you'd, you'd expect them to have this part figured out. Sure, let's, uh, let's try that. Thank God for the undo button. Let's go ahead and try that. Let's go ahead and move the donation bin over to here. Uneven placement. You don't say. Okay, fine. Let's keep it over here. C come on, game. Come on. You you know what I want to do. You know exactly what I want. There we go. Okay. Uh, so that'll be our, 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 what? Our Gila monster. I've been asked for that for a while. Now we've got this over here. What I might do is I might get rid of the path over here. No, a little counterintuitive, but what I want to do is I want to extend... Uh, let's see if I can't... Just kind of do that. Beautiful, I can. Excellent. 
I want to do that. I want to get uh, a couple of exhibits down over here. I guess I have two more to put, right? So if I do that. And then we go back over here. Hook you up. Like so. Take that, sure. And hook you up. Like so as well. Now people are able to view these from more angles. Oh, come on. We thought we had this. I guess not. Well, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. So people are able to see these from more angles. Excellent. And then over here, I can put another exhibit and another one down there as well. Okay, cool. So that's another 4,000. Again, these get expensive pretty quickly. So I do have to be wary of that. Like I said earlier. Just connect to both. Why can't why not just connect to both? Like you're supposed to. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. I'll do this to me. Okay, and let's go ahead and get you over here. Just on the opposite side. Should be able to connect, hopefully. No. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go ahead and try and push the train back a little bit. Mystery of uh Oh, what's the deal here? Oh, is the path holding it in place? That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense at all. Hmm. The path shouldn't be affecting it. We're way too low for that. Uh, I mean, I could use the stamping tool as well, though. This thing, honestly, sometimes scares me. Always worried I'm going to misuse it. I use the cube. Make it smaller here. Can I? Hmm. This is extremely strange. Just floating over here. Okay, okay. What is your deal here? I I, I... I don't even know where to begin. I don't know where to begin. Go ahead and delete some of the pathing, maybe. And then do the train first. <laughs> Sorry, I, you know what? I wasn't expecting this much of a struggle. If I'd known, then I would have made this a time lapse instead. But now I feel like I've committed... Oh, there we go. That's what the problem was. The lamp. There we go. There's no lamp here. Be gone. Really? Is it that much of an area that this thing affects? That doesn't make any sense. No, this is something else now. Oh, come on, game. This is all going fine. That's all fine. It might be because of this exhibit. Try moving it. But then watch it won't let me put it back into its original place. Guaranteed. Hmm. Maybe it's the path. Sorry, folks. I I also I, I hear you telling me not to apologize so much. I try not to apologize a lot, but it just comes natural to me. Maybe it's because I'm Canadian. Maybe it's something else, but it just... <laughs> I feel... I understand sometimes um, when I'm recording, I'm obviously playing, so it's very easy for me to get bogged down by something. And in hindsight, I go, you know what? I should have done this differently. And I just want to make sure everyone's having a good time and enjoying what they're watching and whatnot, so... I apologize for my constant apologizing, I suppose, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't help it. I cannot help it. Go ahead and line this up like so. And pull you out. Uh, angle snap. I just want to make sure this is going straight down. Okay. Like so. A little too long there. There we go. Okay. Good enough for me. Alright. There we go. Go ahead and hook you the side like so. I will take the little barrier. I'm fine with that. Come to terms with the fact that there's nothing I can do about it. We'll make it look prettier in a different sort of a way. Well, add add some like vines or something. I don't know. All right. So now, if we drop the exhibit down over here, make it line up. There we go. We can do excellent. Looks like looks like it's hooking up on just the one side. But oh, there we go. We go far enough. 
Yeah, okay, let's do this. Go ahead and tie you up like so. Let's go ahead and reduce the, uh, push the train back a little bit. Because it seems to be working, just not perfectly. So flatten the foundation over here. Okay, push you back a bit. There we go, there we go. And... Sure. Trying to line it up perfectly. That seems about right. Oh, great. There we go. Pull it as close as possible. Perfect. And we need another one over here. I'm gonna exit the group. So that would probably make my life a lot easier if I just used the group. We're very low on money. Anytime I see that there's some construction options that are red, red because, um, because I can't afford them, I get extremely nervous. Not sure why the path isn't connecting on the other side, but okay. Go ahead and flatten the train a little bit. Bigger. There we go. And... Oh, weird. Strange, strange. Alright, well we'll just connect on this side and then we'll build the other side. Something like... This, as close as we can get. Excellent. And let's just see if the pathing path will work. Always a mystery. Always a mystery. Weird. Oh, okay. Sure. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Everything's connected. Excellent. All right. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get some more of these donation bins in. Uh, I imagine I can put you down here. Cover... Both of our bases and let's go ahead and put you down over here again trying to cover both sides god that looks terrible on this side i guess match things go ahead and duplicate you i guess that's where the they naturally want to be is right in the middle i wonder if it makes an, it makes a big difference if i put it off to the side because i i kind of like how it looks off to the side like that personally Over like so, or even like so. Close to the donation box. Okay. Almost done. Almost done here. Now just a heads up for those of you that don't like spiders, there will be some more spiders right now. <laughs> Many of you have been saying like, oh yeah, it gets your anxiety going when we get underground or when we're looking at the spiders. For me, it's... um. It's uh, honestly when uh, when the spiders have a bunch of babies, I get a little like uncomfortable. Um, again, used to have like I guess a degree of arachnophobia, I suppose is the best way to put it. But lately, it's just kind of like I get uncomfortable around spiders. What the hell? What happened over here? Okay, I'm glad that was an easy fix. I suppose. Or is it just the... can't tell if it's the... I think the path is still there. Well, okay, if I have to do this, clean it up, then I, I guess I will. Get, like, uh, something over here, maybe? Sure. Why not? Why not? Alright, uh, I think that's pretty good. I think we can hit play as well. Uh, I think we're safe to move forward. Let's actually, let's go ahead and find the animals that we want, or the exhibits that we want. Um, so, first of all, what was recommended? Uh, the Gila monster. E-F-G-O. Oh, roaches make me extremely uncomfortable. Uh, also, the giant desert hairy scorpion was recommended, so we can do that as well, since we've come across them en route. Uh, not too expensive. One, one male, one female. Decent appeal on these, so let's go ahead and adopt you and adopt you. Good stuff. Uh, let's move you. We've got so many spiders we got to get rid of. And scorpions as well. Not scorpions, sorry, snakes. Send you to the zoo. Let's put the scorpions where? And spiders over there. We put the scorpion back over here. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. You can see the snake. You can see the snake chilling over here. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, Alright, so we've got you over there. Let's go ahead and add... What else am I adding? 
Um, right, more exhibits. Go ahead and get ourselves the Gila monster or the red knee tarantula if that's en route. LMNOPQR. We got so we got so many options. There we go, Gila monster. Okay. Yeah, you know, there's some all right options here. Go ahead and purchase you. Let's go ahead and purchase you. Move them in as well. Back to there, I think. Or let's move you over to here. And we'll get our other spiders back there. So if you really want to be surrounded by spiders, you can be. <laughs> that's if that's what you'd like, then you can. All right, let's go ahead and filter, actually. Uh, we're looking for the red knee tarantula. Uh, this is not alphabetical. This isn't alphabetical at all. Uh, let's see. Red knee tarantula. Red knee tarantula. There, oh, there it is. Mexican red knee tarantula. Uh, let's see. Decent fertility. Oh. Well, uh, beggars can't be chooser. I'll take what I can get here. Take what I can get here. There we go. And let's go ahead and move them over as well. You and you send you to the zoo. Perfect. What I should probably do right away is rename them. Um... Carlos. Go to our exhibit trading center here. How do I, why, why can't I remember how to rename these animals? Do I have to deliver them first? Oh, there we go. Always throws me off. So Carlos is the dad. And... And... <laughs> Dad, I never know how to pronounce this properly, is the mother. Okay, get all this done. Make sure that we're actually able to uh, manage our animals and, and keep a track of, uh, of everything over here. Oh, I gotta adjust their... Um, I gotta adjust their actual exhibits and stuff as well before they ate it down here. And this time I will remember to add them to the work zones. Unlike usually, or I forget, because I'm terrible like that. All right, Natasia and Eben. Go ahead and get you your daddy-o and Natasia, you are mommy. All right, now the exhibit needs to be what? What is your preference for exhibit? I, I'm always so, I was, for some reason, I guess it's because I don't do the exhibits as often. Like, where does it tell me what... Okay, there we go. So it tells me right there. So it needs to be 30... What, 5 do you think that is? And humidity needs to be like... 20%, I think. Try that out. Looks right. Roughly. We'll let that happen. And then over here... Go ahead and do our... Uh, weather seems to be just a little... Around third. Let's go to 29. Humidity, we can do a little bit more. Sure. Sorry about that edit there. His phone just started ringing. I uh, had to put it on silent. My apologies. Uh, okay, so we've got um, you set up. And over here, let's go ahead and get you set up as well. Temperature's fine. Humidity, let's drop it. 40%? We'll keep an eye on this. We'll keep an eye on this. Uh, but I think we're good to hit play. Let time move forward. Let's keep an eye on everything else that's going on. Low welfare, hungry animals. Okay, welfare's going to be fixed up. As all this gets done, right? Layout they're not happy with, but we'll we'll do some research as soon as we can. Over here, climate's looking good. Temperature's still a little too high. Go ahead and drop you a little bit. There we go. 27's okay. Yep, excellent. And let's just double check you. 35 is still too low. Wow. 
Um, okay, I'll, I'll fix that right now. Yeah, I was saying, the moment you hit play, it's like all the notifications start popping up. Drop you down a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at our work zones. So, America's North will include... Both, both of the Americas will include these exhibits. I think it's just easiest. Whoever's free and America's South... Oh, actually, I guess this was all America's North. You know what? That makes sense. That that works for me as well. Oh, gotta add you, though. Cool. That'll hopefully make things a little bit easier. And maybe I need to add some more uh, keepers. Again, I can afford them, so I probably should. Vet research is completing as well. Caretakers are... Keepers are extremely busy. And mechanics as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and get... One keeper for each. Come on now. Don't oh, get away from me. Drop your salary. <laughs> Trying to get away from me dropping their salary. And let's assign your work zone. America's North. Where'd the other guy go? There they are. Get your work zone. America's South. And let's drop your salary as well. Fidgeting between my options there. Okay, cool. So that's that. And we could also get... Do we need a mechanic? You know what? Money's looking... Getting a little nervous about our money. We're below... We're sub 10k, and we have been for a little while. It's making me a little concerned. Making me a little concerned. Our vendors... I'm wondering if we should assign more vendors to more spots. Like, how, how, how do you feel? I can't get to my work zone. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Can't get to my work zone. A lot of them are saying that, and I'm not exactly sure why. Because they're very much definitely working. That's 100% English, by the way. That is absolutely... That's absolutely English. <laughs> you seem to be having a good time working as well. Yeah, weird. I need to figure out the whole work zone thing, because they all seem to be complaining about that. Some of them. Well, I guess some of them aren't. Yay. How are you doing over here? Now that the rain is coming, I also want to check how uh, our watchtower and exhibit behaves under, under the rain. Oh, we're getting some good crowds over here, so that's good. I, I do want to extend these out a little bit so that guests get some coverage as well. Uh, that's something I've got planned. And the animals, are they all hiding down here? Some of them are. Oh, what a cutie. What a cutie. Are you hungry? Oh, you're looking for enrichment. You're not hungry, though, so that's good. That's good. I wish I could get a shot of the babies together. That'd be great. All right, we did manage to finish some research. Vet research completed. That's more bison, no, more antelope stuff. And then mechanic research completed as well. What have we got? Drink shops, more drink shops. So we need to really soup up our... Uh, um. Oh, it's so cool seeing them use the bridges! That's so cool! Part of me wonders if I should have made them slightly higher bridges, like uh, more arched bridges. I mean, let me know your thoughts. I kind of like this because it's a little understated. Uh, those, like, high arched bridges, I, I feel like they're a lot more suitable for, like, you know, like our panda exhibit and stuff when we eventually do that. Um, but I do like how this is looking and feeling. One thing that I take issue with is just that there's so few things you can do to beautify grasslands. And I don't want to upset these animals too much by putting down trees and stuff that they don't like and that they're unfamiliar with. Uh, so that's definitely something that I want to, um, to do soon. Uh, let's go ahead and just really quickly extend this in a quick and dirty kind of a fashion here. And we'll, 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 we'll do it more cleanly, obviously, when, uh, when the time comes, but I want to see if people will actually use this to hide under. Okay, look, we're, we're above 10k again, so that's good. These donation boxes are making us some money. I thought we had another one over here. We do. That's making us some money, too. What do you guys think about the view? Let's see. Happy Timberwolves. The view of the Timberwolves is not that great. Whatever. It's fine. Gonna need an umbrella. Rain. I've treasured looking at the pronghorn antelope so much that I'm never going to clean my eyeballs. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. This place is awesome. Super excited. Uh, people seem to be having a good time. Wish I had a better view of the bison. Mm, okay. Yeah, I mean, as soon as they have more babies and stuff, I think the view complaints will be gone. Now, it's really cool to see, actually, the crowds forming up over here. We have 
we have fairly large crowds, and you know, the donation boxes are getting some money as well. Wow! Oh, this is amazing! This is awesome! Two th that's great. Yeah, this is a good call. That's so cool. That's so cool. And you know what? If if I was visiting a zoo, that I would I would want to go to the Eagle Eye always. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Oh, I want you pointed out that the view is kind of hampered by these bins and all. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The bin should be on this side. We shouldn't block the view of that glorious sign that we've got. And even the donation box. I mean, you know, funnily enough, that one's making a decent bit of money. There we go. So as you come around, the big reveal happens. Cool. Very cool. It, I'm I'm really excited that this uh, this tower is crowded. I was so worried when I started building it that I just wouldn't see any action. Um, but wow, I was wrong. Never been so happy to be so wrong. Awesome. Uh, okay, what else have we got going on? So I've taken care of the exhibits. Uh, let's just make sure that people are actually going to them and uh, and they're happy animals, I guess. Layout issues is all. I'll work on that. I'll work on that. Layout issues, of course. Of course, it's gonna be layout issues for now. And that's fine. I mean, we'll we'll, we'll research and, and upgrade all that. So these these animals all seem pretty happy. Um, can we actually spot a scorpion. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a little scorpion for those of you interested in looking at the actual animals in in game. Interesting. And then over here, uh, spider warning. <laughs> if I can find one. Oh, it's just already I'm like my skin's crawling. Um. Uh, I, I do not see a spider. I do not see a spy. Oh. Nope, that's just, that's just a tree. Uh, that's just stuff on the tree. Okay, what about our Gila monsters over here? They have a pretty cool exhibit. They have a pretty cool exhibit. Uh, oh, it, is that? Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I have no issue with, like, lizards and stuff. That's pretty cute. It's impressive, actually, how much detail they've got. Like, they actually have the bumps on the scales and stuff. They were ready for people like us to go zooming in to look at these animals, too. Which is great. I'm glad that it's been considered. Man, the food court also. Very active. We do have to come back here and soup this area up as well. Like, I'm very happy with how this looks overall, but it definitely needs some more work. And how are the bears doing? How are the bears doing? They seem to be doing well. Starting to grow up. Oh, still... Okay, no, Arya... Oh, no, yeah, it's still babies. Oh, oh we're so cute. Don't get pooped on now. So cute. <laughs> I just can't get over it. Um, I'm going to check on these people's views as well. Got to add the canopy over here. Money's doing okay. Sorry, just doing a quick check of um, how people feel about our uh, our, our zoo. Because finances right now looking kind of look kind of tight. That makes me uncomfortable. Oh, you know what I just realized? Topic of tight finances. Go ahead and... Hopefully, collect all. Wow, almost 7k. Done. That makes me a fair bit more comfy. That makes me a fair bit more comfy. And it looks like the uh, the tortoises are having a good time as well now. Not too upset about... They're, they're bored of the toys they have, is the issue. They're bored of the toys they have. There are so many of them. Oh, we're about to have another wolf fight. There we go. Jabetson, who do you think is going to win? We got Lucas on one side, and Waylon is an adult now. So they're competing for uh, supremacy here. Mommy off to the side, they're just having a little drink. Oof, this is looking rough. Alright, Abigail. Depending on who becomes the alpha, I suppose, we should get contraceptives. There we go. Lucas is still the boss here. Lucas is still the boss. So now, do I put Abigail on contraceptives, or do I leave her be because she'll still just be mating with Lucas, because Lucas is the alpha? Right? That's... I imagine that's how that kind of works. I, I... I... Guess we'll find out. Now, Lucas actually... Lucas and... Abigail should have decent babies. In terms of quality of babies. Mm, their genes are okay. That's so cute. Carrying a little chew toy. Genes are alright. And actually, what do people think of this cave area now? Still, still drawing in some pretty big crowds. Not drawing in the big donations, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh my god. Look at that. Well, I guess people are always interested in seeing the newer animals. That would explain why this 
underground area is so crowded. Oh, wow. So I, I apologize. I keep, uh, keep getting joy from how crowded the eagle eye and, 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 and the underground passage is. All right, folks. I think, I think, if I don't my math right, we may have gotten a little bit over our hour mark. Not 100% sure. I've done a lot of what I've been asked to do for a while. I've had my mind set on... Oh, yeah, you can see them cleaning the, the tables and stuff. I've had my mind set on um, getting more exhibits done for, like, the last three episodes. So I'm glad we got that done. Uh, we made some more feeding areas and stuff. Made the bridges up there. Again, just going through my, like, checklist, basically. I've got new security guards. Uh, yeah, we made some good progress today in terms of, uh, of things that have been sort of neglected for a while. I will be adding a canopy over here, and I think this is not what a light post is supposed to look like. Sorry, it just caught my eye. Upright, please. Upright. There we go. I do want to do the lighting sometime soon. I want to do the lighting sometime soon. Ooh, Habitat 4 animals fighting for alpha status, really? Our babies are, are growing up already? Who's fighting for alpha status? Yeah, I guess, uh... No. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's weird. That's weird. Anyway, folks, this... is where we're gonna call it a session. I think we've had a pretty good productive session. Again, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this one. Uh, you know, I, I, I saw a lot of you felt that the previous one was a little bit on the slower side. So I tried to pick the pace up on this one, and I think we accomplished a fair bit, uh, especially with those exhibits. Uh, now again, it's underground, so it's hard to see, uh, the progress, you know, that visibly, but, uh... I mean, if you look at the number of people down here, you can see the progress a lot more directly. Uh, so I feel like we've done a fair bit, uh, made, made a fair bit of progress today. Let me know if you agree or if you disagree. Let me know what you'd like to see differently. Hopefully you enjoyed this session. And as always, if you did, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As I've said before, I read through all the comments. It brings me great joy to see what y'all are thinking. And uh, it lets me know if you're still interested in seeing more of this series continue, which seems to be the case. Uh... As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons, of course, for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly, and a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, which may or may not be tomorrow. I'm not sure if I can double down this weekend. Uh, but until next time, cheers.